As far as I remember, Prabhakaran came to Baroda with the first few batches of students from Kerala in the beginning of 1979. He became part of a group of students who formed a Marxist collective called Indian Radical Painters and Sculptors Association. Most of them highly talented artists. Prabhakaran's work, however, remained somewhat muted about his political limits. I watched him working with a great deal of diligence, focusing single-mindedly upon his memory and associations of life in Kerala. He had a firm and dexterous hand in the portrayal of people, engaged in dialogue, revealing stories of complex human relationships. I found his work, especially his drawings, and black and white renderings engaging and refreshing. There was a distinct personal sensibility in everything he drew or painted, marking him out to be an artist with an individual vision. The works I saw over the years, including the large corpus displayed in Kosi Muzuri's Vinale, showed a continuity which sustained his creative endeavor centered invariably upon Kerala. This vision was far from being parochial. He shared it with his comrades, what I call a Kerala Kalam, which made a distinctive mark on the wider contemporary art scene of India.